What is up, my friends? Welcome back. Brandon Osborne, also known as Control for Days. Today, I was thinking to myself, I was trying to figure out a way that I could create more interaction and immersion. Oh, that's one way. Smack my microphone. Uh, with these videos and with the community that I'm trying to build here on this YouTube page. So I came up with the idea that for today's video, we're going to put some stakes on the line. Uh, not not meat, but uh, some prizes on the line, so to speak, to make this a little bit more interesting. So for today's video, I have purchased five packs of Dominaria Remastered, and we're gonna play a little game today. For every match that I win, I'm gonna crack a pack on camera. If I go five and zero. Oh, one of my subscribers who has commented on this video, I will also give five packs. If I lose a match on today's video, I will give away one of those five packs. But you need to be subscribed to this channel and you need to comment on this video so I know who you are. If by some crazy stroke of luck, by the time I post my next video after this one, so 72 hours later, this channel has a thousand subscribers, which we're about a hundred away from right now. I will give away a foil playset of Yawgmoth Thran Physicians to one of my subscribers who has commented on this video. So we got high stakes today. We got very high stakes. A lot on the line. If I win five in a row, I'm cracking five packs. I'm giving you guys five packs. If I lose, every time I lose, you're getting a pack. And if some way, somehow, we have a thousand subscribers by the time my Monday video goes up. I will give away a foil playset of Yawgmoth Thran Physicians. So we're in it to win it. Let's go. Today's list uh, this is version 8.8, .8, very small changes to version 8.6, which I ran in last week's challenge. Biggest changes Yavamaya, and I shaved on a fetch land. Still running Hapatra in the main, everything else in the main deck is exactly the same. Sideboard, two Thought Seas, two Veil of Summer. Um, those are pretty stock for me at this point. Two Endurance, three Force of Vigor, nothing new there. A Magus of the Moon. I'm sticking with the two Chalice of the Void, even though they didn't do anything for me the last time I ran them. One Haywire Might. And today we are running a Ratchet Bomb. It's a card I have not tested yet. It's kind of in the same vein as Engineered Explosives, Crime Punishment but I want to see uh, how this card performs. I want to see uh, how it does. This is likely going to be very close to the list I run on this Saturday for the challenge. Um, I might change a card or two here or there, but for the most part, this is what I'm going to be playing. So if you're looking for a deck list, something competitive to play, something similar to this would be good. We're going to jump into this league. We got some, some packs on the line, some Yawgmoths on the line maybe. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright everybody, we are into our first match of this modern league. We are playing against it 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 it. Uh we are on the play. Black Green Yogmoth. Let's go. Alright, our opening seven is close, but a little sketchy, only having one land. I don't think we can keep this as much as I would like to. Uh, I think we're gonna mulligan this one and I recognize my opponent's name I don't know if maybe they're a Yogg player as well, but I, I do recognize this name um, our six card hand uh, They mulligan as well. I don't love our six But I actually think we're gonna keep it. We have a redraw with the peatland We have interaction with Besaju and we have we have mana. It's not good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run with it I'm gonna get rid of the tomb, I think, and we'll see how this goes. I just really hate mulliganing, and I really hate mulliganing to five more than that, so um, maybe if I was a little bit more disciplined, I would ship this hand, but I don't know. I feel like we could potentially cobble something together. They're mulliganing to five cards here. Okay, they keep a five card hand. Let's go. Ragavan is so prevalent in this format that, like, I feel like Young Wolf is an undervalued and overperforming card, so I'm banking on them hoping they have a turn one Ragavan to just run away with the game. All right, there's a Yavimaya, and there's a bird. Okay, so we are playing the mirror match, it seems. 
And that was one of my suspicions. All right, we have two more young wolves to play out. Uh, we're gonna leave with an attack. Now, if there's something like a Grist, uh, I'm gonna play out the Verdant. We can use the mana for their, their Yavimaya to play both of these out. And we will pass the turn. So our opening hand actually would have been pretty okay, just because they're not gonna have any removal for a one drop. But this is a little, little on the slow side. Wall of Roots, sure. Minus one, another bird. Okay, so they have Yogg mana on their next turn. Got a lot of mana. They can also probably one, two, three, four, five, six. They're close to being able to cord for a Yogg. We're just drawing nothing but lands here on our third turn. Uh, we're gonna lead with an attack for three. And I imagine we're probably losing this game. Block one, they'll take two. Play out another Catacombs and we will pass the turn from here. All right, let's see if they have a Yogg. One, two, three, and four. Here comes Yogmoth. Not good. But if we find one of our own, we actually can just win. Minus Yogg. They are not targeting anything. They will bring their their young wolf back. And they are recouping cards here. Amazing they did this with like one one mana here. All right, they're fetching. I don't know that they necessarily need to do that because they have the Yavimaya, but we'll see what they get here. Basic Swamp, see if they have another wolf. No. All right, yield into the end step. We're gonna fetch with one of these Catacombs just to thin our deck a little bit, so hopefully we don't draw our ninth land in a row. Draw a card with their Young Wolf. They're not done yet. And another Young Wolf, I'm guessing, or, or another bird, okay. This is one of those matchups where I feel like I still haven't gotten a handle on the best way to approach it. I really, I honestly don't know. In the beginning, I felt like I knew what I was doing, and now the more I play it, the less I feel like I know. All right, we're just we're just drawing lands. Um, all right, I guess we're gonna draw with the peat land here, and we drew another land. Okay, I'm gonna scoop. We're not winning this game. We drew lands every turn. And I shouldn't have kept that opener. That was a mistake. All right. Game two. Let's see if we can pull this off. Um, on the play, I don't have any Necromentias, so that's out of the picture. I wonder if I just bring in Veils and an Endurance. I honestly don't know. I didn't really think this all the way through. I don't hate Thoughtseize either. It's not super impactful, though. I don't know if it's good enough. I actually prefer Thoughtseize on the draw. I think I'm just going to bring in the Veils on the play. Um, in terms of cards that I'm shaving here, uh, Young Wolf is kind of minimally impactful. I think we're going to get rid of a Geist as well, and we'll get rid of a Bird. Uh, bird in one wall. Kind of just shave ones all around here. Okay, we'll run with this 60. See how this goes. Doesn't feel good starting off a, a league losing the first game, though, from a, a momentum standpoint. All right, this seven card hand, once again, it's essentially a one land hand because we have two Besages, which isn't great. I think we have to mulligan this once again. Our six card hand, we have one land, we can't keep this. They mulligan to six as well. We're gonna go down to five. And this one we can keep, although it's not great. I think we're going to keep these five cards. Verdant, Verdant, Wall of Roots, Yogmoth, and Grist. And we'll get rid of the Court of Calling and the Blood Artist. Okay, they keep their six. We'll keep our five. Cord, Blood Artist, done. Now if they just have like a one drop, we're going to be so far behind at that point. It's just going to be really bad. Really, really bad. The way we, we catch back up is if we draw a bird or a hierarch. Okay, they don't. Yield into the end step. And I'm gonna fetch. Get our overgrown tomb tapped and then move to our turn. We'll get our verdant into play here. Okay, basic forest, I like that. Makes things easier. So we'll have Yogmoth next turn potentially. So wall of roots and pass the turn. Let's see what they have on two. I would imagine they probably have a wall of roots of their own or maybe a geist. Black and green. There's the wall of roots. No one drop, good. So normally I'd want to build out my board state a little bit more. Um, 
before playing out Yogg, but because Necromentia is a card we have to keep on our radar, I'm actually going to play out my Yogg right now. And it can get gristed down, but it, I think that's okay. It's not okay, but it's, we'll deal with it. I mean, maybe that's the wrong play, but I'm playing around Necromentia here. I just don't want, don't want that to happen if they were banking on it. It's kind of a trade-off, you know, which card. I guess it's more likely that they have a Grist in their hand, but they do have to trade off a creature if they want to make that play. One, two, three, there's Grist. Okay, they're going to go down to one, and we'll get rid of our Yogg here. Okay, moving back to our turn. Okay, Evo was a good draw. So we're going to go Hierarch into Grist, uptick, and then next turn we're going to Evo and get ourselves another Yogg. They missed their land drop, so we're not too concerned about being necroed here. Of course it is a possibility, but not as likely. One, two, wall of roots, sure. Wall of roots into wall of roots. Lots of wall of roots. All right, Grist. Our best draw from here is going to be, I mean, Hepatra would be excellent, as would just any undying creature. All right, we have another Evo, and I think we are definitely going to make use of that, and it's just a matter of do I uptick or downtick. If we pull another land, I can just go and get Hepatra, and then just wipe their board. I feel like that might be the move. We'll start by getting a Yawgmoth here. They have three cards in hand. They're thinking here. This uh, this is a little bit risky. If we don't hit a land in the next two draws, Hepatra won't really do anything. But if we do it'll probably just win the game from there. So I'll start with one here and we'll go from there. It feels like they might have a Veil of Summer. Okay, and there it is. So we will not get our draw here. Huh. And I knew that was a possibility as well. It kind of sucks. Okay, from here I'm just going to uptick the Grist and then I'm going to pass the turn. <coughs> I actually wouldn't have minded that Veil of Summer in my hand. So they're going to have to dump their Grist if they want to get rid of our Yogg here. And it will be a possibility for us to just get another one next turn with another Evo. If they have something like a Cord though, they could just Cord for Yogg right now. We'll see how they approach this. One, two, three. Okay, they're getting their own Yogg Moth. Okay, and from there I'm actually going to get rid of this Insect Token. Okay, so with them having the Verdant Catacombs after getting the Augmont, they do also have access to a, a Dryad Arbor. Okay, and from here, so I can minus my Hierarch. I think I just let this happen. And then they're going to Verdant. No, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do this here. Okay, and that was a good draw. It's interesting they sacrificed the wall and not the the dried arbor. They have one card in hand. Let's see what their card is. If it's in well, I guess if it's an endurance, we won't get punished. We'll still be okay. Alright, and drawing into a Yogg Moth, not terrible. So we're gonna play out that. We're gonna play out our Geist. If they have an endurance, it is going to kill my Grist. So that's the fear. We're gonna sacrifice. If they want to kill my Geist, sure. I'll trade that Geist for a for a Yogg. They have endurance. They don't. Okay. We're gonna sack our Geist. And we'll kill their Yogg, hoping they do not have another Veil of Summer. Okay. And now it feels like we're pretty far ahead, as long as we get to our next turn with Grist in play. Slash if they don't have a a Necromantia. Okay. Ignoble. That's fine. One mana peatland, sacrifice, draw a card. Moving to our turn, okay. We're in okay shape here. So we're gonna leave with a plus on our Grist, play out our Yogg here, and we're gonna dump their Hierarch. And we'll play out our peatland and pass the turn. And next turn we'll have Hepatra potentially, which I think will just be game over. All right, they're up to four. Fetch, Shock, I guess they have another Yogg Moth as well. Just Yawgmoth everywhere. Giraffes, okay. Okay, I'm okay with that one. So best draw here is a one drop, I think. Just, or an Undire. Okay, that one's not bad either. 
Okay, I am going to plus and get myself a Hepatra. And then from here, I am going to try to draw a lot of cards. And I think, I think I'm actually going to shuffle my graveyard here. Okay, and that's a pretty good one. So this is just lethal from here. So we're going to get our Blood Artist. And now I can just keep looping and killing the Messenger here. I think my opponent should see what's going on here. So I'll get the Undying trigger, sure. I'm down to eight. You'll lose one, I'll gain one. And then Hepatra, we can just keep doing this. And I'll gain... And now if I pull something like a Young Wolf as well, that will just be game over. So I'm just staying at the same life here. They're losing life every time through. Okay, we'll just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Nice little, nice little interaction here. It's interesting they're not scooping, but I suppose that's fine. There, one, and this is lethal. All right, game three, let's go. This matchup is so grindy. Grind, grind, grind. All right, on the draw, I think I might like an extra Geist. Hmm, definitely like four birds on the draw. I want to get out of the gates quick. We'll keep the Geist down. We'll keep a wall of roots down. I think I'm gonna shave another wolf. I don't know if I love Veil vale of Summer, but I think it's fine. Veil vale of Summer is definitely better. Maybe I'll even bring in one. Bring the wall in. Veil vale of Summer is definitely better if they have Necromantia. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this on the draw here. Right, let's see if we can keep a seven card hand. Okay, this is slow. They mulligan to six. On the draw, though, I think we can keep this. I don't love it, but I, th I feel like it's got a lot of cards that are really good in the matchup. This, once again, this might be a mistake. If they get out of the gates really quickly, this might not be good enough. We shall see. Tomb. Ignoble. If we pull a one drop, that's like best case scenario. Innkeeper. Innkeeper's fine, not great. Play out our Verdant Catacombs past the turn. Their turn two. See what they do here. Another bird. All right, so they're working their way up to Yogg here. And a wolf. Yield into the end step. We're gonna fetch. Okay, Blooming Marsh is fine. From here, I don't think we wanna play out our ooze. Maybe we play out the Hepatra. One, two, or the Innkeeper. Maybe just ramp our mana here and play out the Innkeeper. And the next turn, leave mana up for the ooze. I don't feel good about our position right now. They kept their six pretty quickly, so to me it says they likely have a Yawgmoth. They're hesitating for a moment. Maybe they don't. It's an attack for two here. Sure. All right, red 17. Young Wolf connects. Two mana, three mana. Eldritch Evolution for a three drop, okay. This we are okay with. My guess is this is going to be a Grist. Okay, this one we're okay with. Sure, they got a 1-1, one, one. fine by me. They have one card in hand. Okay, Wall of Roots was actually a good draw here. So this is gonna open up a window for us to cast two spells on our turn here. So we'll go Wall of Roots, we'll gain one. I'm gonna play out my Grist. I'm gonna plus my Grist. And then we're gonna pass the turn from there with the plan of next turn getting Hepatra plus Yogg online. So we'll see. We need one more turn here. One more turn. Okay, play out of Besaju. One card in hand. Okay, they have a Court of Calling. So they got Yawgmoth, which isn't good. Not good. All right. That was what we needed to dodge, which we did not. Let's see where this goes from here. They're activating Grist, which is interesting. I imagine they're going to kill our Grist. And we'll see what they do from here. Okay, minus one on the young wolf. Sacrificing the bird. Killing our innkeeper, sure. Kinda wanted that guy, but you know, what are you gonna do? There's another bird. I think I'd probably wait on that bird. So our best draw there would have been an endurance, which we did not pull. So with that being said, what do we get? I mean, I could just sacrifice the wall, get a yog moth, but that's not great. Just play out the ooze, play out the Hepatra. I mean, Hepatra likely just gets eaten by Yawgmoth, I would imagine. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe that's what we have to do. Hapatra plus ooze. Okay. All right, we'll lead on the ooze. We shall see if this is good enough. Play out our Hapatra here. And then we're going to pass the turn. Not the greatest position. I imagine we're probably going to lose on our turn here. But I can't just Evo my wall into a Yogg. I'll have an empty board state. It's just not, not good enough. I mean, I can hope that they mess up and don't kill my insect token if I cast the Hypatra, but I don't think that's a reliable plan. I think we make them play around points of interaction here. Okay, they move to untap. Let's see if we're dead. Tap the bird. Activate Gris, sacrifice. I imagine my ooze is going. Okay, ooze is going. And we will eat, eat a Grist. Eat a Grist, gain a life. One green in pool, 15 life, play out a Dryad Arbor, two green, and they have another Court of Calling. So this is likely going to be game from here. Just going to wait and see what they get. I'm, I'm likely going to scoop at this point. Cord for two, sure. Okay, their own Hepatra, which is going to be good enough. I'm going to scoop it up, everybody. Not going to cut it. We are 0-1 against the best deck in the format, so it makes sense. Okay, so one pack to you guys. Comment below to be entered in the random drawing. Have to be subscribed though. All right, everybody, we are back. This is match two of our Modern League. We are playing against R. Rosansky. They have revealed a Gigantha. We are on the draw and our opening seven is very acceptable. We'll keep this. I would have liked this in our last match. Currently 0-1. Packs on the line. Would love to crack a pack. We shall see. Okay, leading on a bobble. So first thing we're thinking is this could be Breach. This could be Prowess. This could be something else. I guess this could be Jund Saga, maybe. Wasn't expecting the Overgrown Tomb. All right, we'll play out a Marsh. They saw that card. And then we'll play our Hierarch and pass the turn from there. Okay, our opponents turn two, they untap. <laughs> See what they're doing over there. All right, opponent is finally making a play here. Verdant Catacombs, they're fetching. Swamp, thinking some more. Okay, they play a Wither Bloom Command. Target player, target creature gets minus three, minus one until end of turn, target player mills three cards and return a land. And they return a Golgari Rot Farm to their hand which is a nice Besaju target. Okay, we have all of our Blooming Marshes here. Uh, we're gonna play out our Geist. We're gonna hit for two. Pretty straightforward here. I guess the other line we could have taken would be play out our Tomb tapped, play out the Young Wolf, but I don't think that that would be correct. We're gonna deal a little damage here, get in the red zone, use our mana. There, turn three, some more thinking. All right, there's the Saga, which I was expecting to see into a goif, a 5-6 Tarmogoyf. They have Swamp untapped. Oh, I didn't mean to cast that. Uh, that sucks. All right. Oh, that is so brutal. That is so bad in so many ways. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Now we won't be able to cast our Yogg next turn either. Oh, that is so brutal. I did not mean to do that. Shoot. <sighs> no bueno. All right, we're casting our Grist, and our opponent is thinking some more. All right, I'm gonna minus Grist here. I'm gonna kill the Goyf, and then I'm gonna swing for three. I'm really upset at myself for, for playing out that tomb there. It's too late at this point, but it doesn't feel good. I don't think they have any creatures with haste, so I'm gonna swing in with the Geist. Hope my Grist survives, hope we draw a land. All right, there's a Fatal Push, sure. Fatal Push away. So right now it's like our Grist against their Saga. Okay, Saga ticks up to two on their turn. I'm just gonna yield through the turn. There's nothing I can do here. They play out a forest. One, two, three, four. Thirst, sure. They have three cards in hand. We cannot play out our Yogg because I made a terrible, terrible play last turn. Play out our Young Wolf and pass the turn. Pass the turn. I think I'm gonna use one of my cords here to get myself a, uh, a Dryad Arbor. 
end of their turn. I guess I should turn off auto yields. We'll see what they get. If they have something like a pithing needle, that's going to be really annoying. Spell bomb. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Confidant. Playing modern like it's 2008 or something like that. 2018, I should say. All right. Get our Dryad Arbor. Move to our turn here. Feels like we're pretty far ahead at this point. Um, all right. So we're going to be able to get ourselves another young wolf, which I am going to take advantage of. Get a basic forest at this point. We don't really need more black sources. Uh, get our Yawgmoth into play. And we're going to cord for one, get ourselves another young wolf, and then start drawing cards and mowing down their board. And they scoop. Okay, we're up a game. All right, so this is a uh, Golgari Saga. And I think in this matchup, I actually think Magus might be okay. Maybe. I have to imagine they're bringing in discard. There's so many cards I want to bring in. I don't know if it's worth bringing in all of these. Double Endurance. Ooze. Veil. Might. Get rid of a Young Wolf to start with. I'm going to shave some number of Wall of Roots. Um, I imagine they're probably playing a discard suite, so I'm going to shave on Evos as well. I feel like I'm probably overboarding here. Maybe I'll just bring in one Veil. And I don't know if I want four Endurance either. Go down to three. Hmm. I guess Wall of Roots is... is okay because they have the the wither bloom command so maybe i'll shave on some birds and bring back in a wall and i actually think i might cut the innkeeper as well and we'll go with that configuration i feel like i might have overboarded here but we'll see we'll see how this one goes okay opening seven here i think is acceptable our opponent chooses to play first they're going to mulligan in the six cards we're going to keep our seven it's not like the perfect hand against what they're doing, but it's definitely a keep. Okay, they keep their six card hand, and they are on the play. Our Rosansky, see what you got. Same way they started last game, leading on a bobble. All right, after a minute of deliberation, they decide to crack their bobble and look at their top card. And now another minute of deliberation before acknowledging what their top card is, playing out of catacombs and fetching. Tomb tapped. Sure. Okay, draw a card off their bobble. Moving to our turn, we'll play out our birds. No concern of it getting killed this turn, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Dried Arbor, never a card you really wanna you wanna draw into, but it happens sometimes. Play out a bird and pass the turn. I would love for our bird to survive. I don't expect it to survive here. Yep, Wither Bloom, and they'll return a land to their hand. So they have a, a catacombs in their hand that we know about. Moving back to our turn, uh, the only real play here is get our Wall of Roots into play. Then we have a Yawgmoth next turn. We could also Cord for a 2-drop and then put Yawg into play the following turn. And I guess it depends on what their their line is here. And they get themselves a Saga, which is fine. A little slow at this point in the game, but not a big deal. All right, Confidant into Shadow Spear. We're going to get rid of that Confidant, I think. The fact that they tap their mana makes me more confident to get rid of the Confidant because I don't have to worry about Fatal Push on my Yogg. And that wasn't a bad draw either. This is at the beginning of their upkeep, so that's probably... Like, the, there's a thought to, like, kill this upkeep and besage you the Saga, but... I think we just want to get rid of this so they don't get the card off of it. Not having our wall kind of sucks, though. Maybe I let them draw a card? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to let them draw a card here. You can have a card off the Confidant. Depending on what the sequence is here. They get an Overgrown Tomb. Sure. I'm going to hold off on using this Besaidu right now as well. If we can just get, like, a Hapatra into play. Alright, Black, they Thought sees me. Not a big deal. We'll get one of our cords. We have a second one. And they scoop. All right. We're one on one. And with that being said, we have a pack and we are going to crack it. Pack two. One to you guys, one to me. Let's go. All right. We're going to do this on camera here. I don't know what that card is. Phyrexian Ghoul. Big favorite of mine back in the day. 
Academy Rector, sacrifice to the Phyrexian Ghoul. Get yourself a Sapperling Burst, kill. I don't know what that is. Some Kavu. I don't know if you guys can actually see these cards here. Counterspell, oldie but a goodie. Goblin Matron, this is a pretty good pack. Is that a Frantic Search? Nice, we're doing it. This is a good one. I don't know what that is either. Some land, and Tuco Monastery. Dampening Sphere, that's a good one. Something that looks like it was drawn by RK Post, or a Fearless Faceless Butcher, whatever this thing is. Decimate, bunch of fairies. What's this one? Cackling Fiend, the best planes in the game. And did I not get a rare in that pack? What was the rare? A Decimate? Ugh, ugh. All right, on to the next one. All right, this is match three of our Modern League. We are playing against the Forgetful Mage. They are on the play. Our opening seven has Dried Arbor. Meh, it's acceptable. We'll keep it. Two, we're one and one right now. They lead on a snow-covered island. You don't see those every day. I don't know what's going on on this island here. There's like, it looks like faces. I guess people are frozen on it, maybe, but they're really big faces. It's unclear, unclear what is happening there. Um, I think I'm just gonna lead Beseju into Hierarch and pass the turn here. I don't really wanna get a forest with this, with the Verdant Catacombs, so. All right, so this is Merfolk, I guess. Leading on a Dismember. It's kind of annoying. Two mana, and they are playing a Merfolk, a fish. And they pass the turn. All right, another Geist. Um, once again, I think I want a Black Source with the Verdant Catacomb, so we're gonna take a point, which doesn't feel great, but we're gonna go with it. And the question from here is, do I attack or do I not? They have four cards in hand. I guess if they play another, I think we just sit back. If they have something to give their creature island walk, that would suck. But I think we need to preserve our life total here. Mutavolt. Like, I feel like racing them is not the way to win this game. Three, this guy. Sivulin. I pronounced that wrong, I'm sure, but yeah. Doesn't have indestructible as of yet, so if we can get a Grist down, that would be really helpful. We do not have a Grist. All right, we'll play out another Geist. And what I would love to do would be Cord for a Dried Arbor and then get Yogg next turn, but because we have our Dried Arbor in hand, that is not an option. So that line is not, not happening. All right, they play another Island. Being on the draw game one in this, this matchup, with like a very medium hand. It's not, not great. All right, they're activating Mutavault here. Three, three, four, five. They draw a card and we're gonna block the four, five here. I guess I could double block the Mutavault, but they killed both of our guys. So I'm just gonna block the four, five. They tap two. It's weird they didn't play that pre-combat. Maybe they have some sort of a combat trick that they were, they were going for. We draw into another land, not what we wanted. This thing has indestructible at this point. All right, so we're gonna try to kill in two turns as long as we don't die here. So we're gonna look for our Blood Artist and then we're gonna look for our Yogg. And our life total is going to be, I mean, this is getting like a little sketchy at this point. So, and we need these cords to resolve here. We're activating Mutavault, this is five. 8, 11, 15. It's a lot of damage. And they're only attacking for 9 here, which is good for us. They'll draw a card. Now they can flash out the the Merfolk that pumps and counters. So that's a good thing to have on our radar. And if they have that, we're I don't think we're winning this game. Unless we just like naturally draw into a Yawgmoth. Cord for 2. And they're thinking, which to me says they have a point of interaction here. Okay, there's the Hex Catcher, which actually isn't, if they are going to counter this, it's not terrible for us. We'll pay for that, yes. And they're thinking here, 
Really, really interesting. They do not want us to have this card. So we actually just preserved our, our life total nicely there and dealt with a couple of their creatures. They have three cards in hand. They're gonna fetch. Let's see what they get from here. Breeding pool. Okay, wasn't expecting that one. So they have a, that's a four, four. It's pretty big. Yeah, so this Court of Calling likely not resolving at this point. I guess our line to win this game from here is like, that's kind of, kind of one of them. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. As long as they don't have another dismember, this might be good enough. We shall see. See what we can do from here. So all their, their merfolk have ward, but we'll be able to chump block. Okay, there's another, another one of those guys. And they attack for five, sure. Okay, we'll block with the Dryad Arbor here. And then I'm gonna minus on my Geist. Hoping they don't have a dismember. Okay, they don't, we're okay. The fact that we still have a shot here is baffling to me. It feels like we shouldn't. Trickster. Tab target creature and opponent controls. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna let this happen here. Five, one, two. So if I cord right now, they have to sacrifice three creatures to cut it off. One, two, three. I think we're gonna go for that. Okay, we'll pay the one here. I'll take one and pay the one. And then they'll have to sacrifice one more to, to shut it down. Okay, so Yogg is, is doing its job. Oh, that was a mistake. I was actually supposed to untap my Geists right there, which I meant to do. All right, we're gonna get a Catacombs fetch, get our forest, play out a Young Wolf, and then yield through the turn. Okay, during their upkeep, we're gonna untap these here. The way we lose this game is if they can give their creatures Island Walk. That would be very bad. Okay, Grist, not terrible. They have three cards in hand. Two mana, this feels like. Okay, yeah, that just kills us. Forgetful Mage, forgot what their card did. Um, sideboard, I think we can bring in Magus here. I think Ratchet Bomb's probably pretty good. I think Might is fine, and I don't hate Thought Seizes either on the play. I don't know if I like them on the draw, but on the play, I don't mind them. Um, no, maybe we bring in a Force of Vigor. Maybe not the Thought Seizes, these four cards. Two, three, and four. And I'm gonna shave on Grists and Endurance, and maybe a Geist. I don't love Evo, but I think it's fine. Like if they sacrifice two more folk to counter it, that's okay. All right. Back for game two, we are on the play. And I think we can keep this. It's a little threat light, but just the combination of turn two Hepatron to turn three Yawgmoth, I think is good enough. Uh, we'll lead on our bird and pass the turn here. Yeah, if we have these two com this combination of cards up in play at the same time, I think it's just game over for them, so. All right, and that's like literally, literally a game over, if I can get that combination in play. Play out our tomb and then pass the turn. Merfolk is a critical mass deck. If they cannot accumulate critical mass, they lose. All right, they're gonna fetch, play out a vial. Eh, might be a turn too late. So they can have dismember up here. And for that reason, I'm just debating whether or not I wanna play out my Yawgmoth right now or not. Like to me, this says dismember. That's what this is representing. I think I'm gonna lead on an attack with the Hepatra. And I'm gonna put a counter on the Hepatra to get an extra creature in play. I think that's worth it. And then from here, um, I'm just debating whether I want a Blood Artist, Force of Vigor. I think I'm just gonna, f no, I think I'm gonna cast the Blood Artist out and pass the turn. We'll see if they have a Dismember here and if, if my play was correct. Okay. Let that come into play tapped. Vial goes up to one. I just want them to commit something to the board and they are not, they are not being cooperative. All right, Overgrown Tomb is our draw. We're gonna play our Yawgmoth out at this point. 
They have something like a subtlety. They're thinking. They definitely have some form of interaction here. They have six cards in hand. Okay, Yogg resolves. Um, we're going to swing in with Hepatra. I think I'm okay putting a counter on my bird here. Plus one, minus one, save targets, yield, creature in play, and then I'm going to play out my peatland here just in case I find myself a, uh, a court of calling as opposed to playing out the tomb tapped. All right, they fetch and do nothing. Okay. Vile ticks up to two. Play out a Mutavolt, sure. A whole lot of nothing going on over there. All right, Endurance is a fine draw. Endurance almost just gives us lethal. I can also proliferate the Vile in response to an activation. We'll see what they do from here. Okay, they're activating for two. I'm gonna proliferate, proliferate the Vile. I'll let them put a three drop into play. And they scoop, okay. Moving to game three. All right, do I change anything? On the draw, I wonder if I bring in another Force of Vigor. Force Shave in Evo, or Force Shave Accord. Now, debating about the Thoughtseizes here. I don't love Thoughtseize either. I think I'm just gonna keep it Evo and Geist, and go from here. Okay, this opening seven's a little bit weak. I don't think we can keep this. Uh, we'll mulligan down to six, and this is much better. We'll keep this, and we'll get rid of the Evo, I think. All right, they need Merfolk, and they pass the turn. No Vile on one, which is good. We draw another Hierarch, which is neither good nor bad. It's just fine. It's like another creature to sacrifice to Yawgmoth. Okay. They exile a Merfolk Trickster to get our Hierarch out of the way. We're going to put that on the bottom. We have two more one drops, so we can hit our, our Yogg on turn three still. Snow Covered Island, two mana, Tide Shaper. This is really bad for us. Really, really bad. Oh, so brutal. This is so brutal. All right, we can't cast anything. Because that is an island, that takes us off our green source. So if we draw into a green source this turn, we'll be able to empty all the, the mana dorks out of our hand, but if we do not, We'll be in deep trouble. Oh, that's so brutal. Stop. Stop it. Two two twos. Okay. Green source. Not a green source. All right. Feels like we're losing this one. What are you going to do? I mean, I don't think we... This hand is very, very reasonable. I don't think we can get rid of this. And I think it was a six card hand we kept as well. So, yeah, not good. We're still not dead. We just need... We need a land on this turn. Not a land. All right, I'm scooping it up, moving on to the next one. Next card was another Twilight Mirror. All right, another pack for you guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, and you'll be in the running. All right, match four, we are back playing against Wu Tang 08. We played against this person in our last video. I think they were on Breach, if I remember correctly. We shall see. Shout out to Wu Tang. Yeah, there's a Gigantha, so I'm guessing they're on Breach. Our opening seven, obviously, we can't keep this. We'll mulligan down to six. Our six is very sketch. This probably should be a mulligan. But I think I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to keep it. I'm kind of like uh, trying to donate packs to you guys here. Play out our Overgrown Tomb. Pay two life and get our Hierarch into play. Don't concede. Yield through turn. Where is that? There it is. Okay. Almost just conceded the game there. <clears throat> Alright. Wu-Tang. Turn one. Mesa. Fetch. Shock. Dead Hierarch. Yes. Okay. Turn two. Land? We gotta land. Alright. We're in business. Play out our Wall of Roots and pass the turn. See? I knew that was gonna happen. It worked out after all. Okay. Foundry. We'll see if they kill... No. Okay. Shredder is fine. Shredder into Bobble, get some value, some gosh darn value. 2-4 Shredder. Bobble me, we'll see if my top card's any good. I don't know what our best draw is at this point. A land? I guess a land is fine. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna play out the Marsh. I don't think 
I don't think the Dryad Arbor is the better play here. We'll uptick here and then pass the turn. I'm anticipating my Grist is going to die this turn. That is my expectation. But as long as we can get Yogg into play next turn, I think we'll be in okay shape. Play out a Spire Bluff. Bolt my Grist. Attack my Grist. I forgot to attack. Pass the turn. Okay. That is... That is unfortunate for my opponent here. I do not think that is what they intended to do, but I can't really can't really change that. Play out our Yawgmoth here, and then I'm gonna play out a Dryad Arbor, and I will we'll pass the turn. From here, I'm not really in a rush to do anything. So, and now with their Shredder, I can just drain it to the point where they can't kill my Grist, and they lead on an iteration. Feels like we're pretty far ahead here though, even though they have five cards in hand. They do have four card types, I believe. One, two, three, four, yes. So if they have a heat, they can get rid of our Yogg. Play out a basic mountain, look at our top card. A song and dance we've all done so many times before. All right, they're gonna swing three at Grist. And we're gonna sacrifice some stuff to prevent that damage here. We must preserve our Grist. There's another Grist. Okay. We'll let it hit it for one. I think that's fine. Okay, there's the Heat. That one we were expecting. And I think we draw one more card here. Get rid of our Dryad Arbor. Okay. Yogg is down. They have three cards in hand. So if they have like a Breach in hand, they can kind of go ham with their Graveyard. All right, we drew another Yogg, which is really good. Start by plussing our Grist. And then I'm going to, oh, we milled over the forest, which is good to know about. We'll play out our Yogg here. And I think I might just minus this right now, looking for like a young wolf. And what do you know? Right on, right on cue. The youngest of wolves. All right, I guess, yeah, they do get a trigger off the shredder here, but I think it's worth it. And if we draw into like a cord here, that would be best case scenario. Well, I guess they could have a, like a spell pierce up as well. So we're just gonna pass the point, pass the turn from this point. Card we have to dodge is a breach. Breach would be bad. Breach would be like a draw four or five and kill our Yogg. All right, there it is. And I think, I feel like we need to look for our, our endurance here. All right, there's the cord. It's uh, a moment too late though. All right, we'll kill the shredder. This does put an extra card in their graveyard, but I think we kind of have to let it happen. All right, one mana. There's the Unholy Heat, as expected. Imagine our Young Wolf's probably going to die as well. Or our Grist will die. Our Grist we don't really care about. We got two more in hand, so that's fine. Sure. And then they'll get one Bobble. Okay, they're going to kill our Young Wolf as well. I'm, like, the way that that went... I'm very okay with. I, I really actually don't mind that at all. So we'll be able to reload in a turn. Pretty good value though. Okay, so for us, I think what we're gonna do here is lead Grist plus the Grist, and then we're gonna play out our Geist. And I think we're gonna swing for two here. If they have like a Ragavan, that might be annoying, like Burn Spell and Ragavan, but I think this is relatively safe. And we'll have a Yawgmoth again next turn. We're actually just really close to a Grist ultimate as well. There's another Shredder. Into a Consider, sure. Dump a Ragavan, four card types. We'll see if they have another Unholy Heat here to kill kill the Grist. They dump two Ragavans in the graveyard. They're at 12. Evo is a good draw. So with the Evo, I think we can pretty much just win from here. So I'm going to Evo this guys to start with, and then if they have a Spell Pierce, we can pay for it. And they scoop. Okay, we got there. We're up a game. Alright, so we were playing against Breach. And last time I had uh, Thorn of Amethyst against them. This time I don't have that. I don't think Chalice is as good against them. I do think we want Endurance, and Ooze is a little slow. They're not running Urza Saga, so I don't know if we really want Force of Vigors here. Ratchet Bomb's a little slow on the draw, too. Veil of Summer could be okay. 
Like they are gonna have Spell Pierce most likely. They'll also have Hollowed Moonlight. I wonder if we board out some number of Evos for that reason. Probably board out a Geist. Eh. Probably some number of Hierarchs I think actually. I think this is a fine, a fine configuration. We'll go with it. All right, opening seven. I think this is acceptable. We'll keep it. I think they kept their seven. They kept their seven, okay. Flooded Strand into, worst case scenario here is a Ragavan. Okay, Young Wolf off the top one time. Let's go. Wolf, not a wolf. All right, play our Besaju, play our Bird. We don't really have another option there with regards to our, our turn one play. We will get our guys down turn two to be able to deal with this Ragavan as long as they don't have a Prismatic ending. They're gonna swing. They're gonna get something off our, our the top of our library here. And it was a Blooming Marsh, which I actually would have liked. And they go with an Iteration, interesting. Iteration into Bobble. I wonder if they don't have a land drop? Feels like they don't have a land drop. Okay, they have a land drop. Land, fetch, fountain. Okay, bird is gone. Four cards in hand. All right, scavenging news, not terrible. All right, we need to dodge another ending here. We'll see if they have one. We really want to draw a land. I probably shouldn't yield here, just in case. All right, so our Geist will survive, and we really need a land off the top. Another Bobble, is that four? Three Bobbles so far. Just Bobbles galore. This card is so offensive. So good. Okay, we'll take that. Sure, that's what you want to do. Okay, guess the Geist is gonna die here, yes. All right, can we get a land? Land? All right. Uh, I'm guessing they have another Ragavan, and for that reason I'm gonna go with my Young Wolf as opposed to the Scavenging Ooze. I wanna get a little value off the Ooze, so I'm gonna, I mean, this is kind of more of like a, a mid-game, late-game kind of play as opposed to an early to mid-game. All right, we're gonna hit by Ragavan here. That is my prediction. Iteration number three. Okay, they fetch and play out another Ragavan, sure. Land, not a land, okay. This is very unfortunate. We're, we're priced into playing our ooze here, unfortunately. Not what I wanna do, but I need to get something on the board. All right, Shredder, ooze is gonna die here, yes. And then they're gonna get trigger off the, uh, the Ragavan. And I think we have one more turn to find a land, and if we don't, I think this game is gonna be over. Okay, they exiled a land. I guess they've exiled two lands now. All right, we don't have a land. Um, I guess I could like Endurance, Cord, get a Dried Arbor. That's just really bad. All right, I don't wanna keep playing, but I will keep playing another turn or two. And if I do that line where I Endurance into a Cord, they also get a trigger off their Shredder. A Breach. Well, we're definitely not letting that happen. Sure, you have a Breach. This is their fourth iteration this game. Like, I don't even feel like what they did was that powerful or that good. It's just like, we just didn't hit our land drops. I feel like we could have beaten what they were doing if we hit our, our third or our fourth land drop. I don't know if this is me sounding bitter, or disgruntled, but I'm, I'm being honest. I don't, I don't think that like this was that impressive. They hit a Grist. Okay, they have still three cards in hand. <laughs> our deck is laughing at us right now. Lands, you do not deserve lands. We'll give you something like a land, but not as good right now. One, two, three, Teferi. Okay, I am just about checked out, but we're still not really completely dead, despite the circumstances. Another Shredder. All right, I don't think we're coming back from this. I'm gonna scoop it. I stuck it out about four turns longer than I wanted to, and we weren't drawing any lands from there. All right. Uh, on the play, still haven't seen any counter magic, but I think, I don't think I'm gonna change anything. I'm gonna stick with this configuration. All right, we are moving to game three against Wu-Tang 08. And our opening seven isn't great, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a keep. They mulligan to six here. 
I'm just shell-shocked from our last game. Like, if we don't pull another land, this hand doesn't do anything. All right, they keep their six-card hand. We're going to lead on our Blooming Marsh into our Haywire Might. In a lot of instances, I would hold this in hand, but I think in this instance, it's correct to play this out. Like, on turn one, if they want to use one of their resources to get rid of this, I think that's that's fine by us. For turn one, they drop to seven cards, play out a Bobble. Look at our top card. Spire Bluff. Ragavan, sure. Wooded Foothills, not bad. We're gonna fetch a basic here. And they knew about that Foothills as well, so for that reason, another good reason to play it out there. I'm not gonna attack with either. Um, just in case they do ending the Geist, I wanna have a blocker back for the Ragavan. Bobble number two. Let's look at my top card again. If we can get through their turn, or if we get through their turn with this board state, I think this is pretty good. Okay. I would prefer not to shock in the tomb, but I think I might. Okay. We're going to lean on the wall roots. I'm going to shock in the tomb as well. Um, this will give us extra cord mana or extra mana for might, depending on what we want to do here. Okay. They dump a lightning bolt. They have three two card types in their graveyard play out a basic mountain channeler sure i really want them to tap out here but they are not they have four cards in hand okay we're gonna cord and we're kind of kind of telegraphing this play but two drop um i think we just get another geist then we'll play out yog and then we'll have cord up for for our blood artist if we want it there's the yog I don't think they have counter magic for this, so I don't think there's really too much they can do here. I think if they had a spell pierce, they probably would have used it. Sure, I'll let them put the canal there. Three card types, four cards in graveyard. Iteration, sure. I keep a card on top, and it's a hollowed fountain, played untapped, sure. They have a 3-3 three, three dragon's rage here. Not too big a deal, and they pass the turn. Okay, so from here, I can go Wall, Wolf, kill the Ragavan, swing, and then also have Cord up at the same time. I do have four card types here. Okay, they're responding. Two mana, Hollowed Moonlight. Uh, I'm gonna let them surveil, and then they're going to, to lose here. Unfortunate for my opponent. Yep, okay. We get our Blood Artist, put it into play, and this game is a wrap. And they scoop. We got there. Pack. Let's do it. So we're two and two. Two packs. Hopefully I gave you guys all the good packs because my first pack was not very good. So remember, if you want to have a chance at winning one of the packs as a result of my losses, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. All right. Let's see what we're working with. I'm going to go a little faster on this one, so not to bore you. Common, don't know what that is. Another counter spell, building a control deck here. Thing that gets auras, don't know what that is. Twisted experiment, gotcha. I think we had one of those in our first pack. Whatever this thing is, wild dogs, I like it. Some sort of Phyrexian thing. Another goblin matron, also building goblins. This looks like a caterpillar. It's a squirrel, it's not a caterpillar. Wax and wane. Wherever it is. I used to play this back in like 1999. Fires of Yavimaya. Uh, conglomerate, I think it's called. Could be wrong. Overmaster. Cool. It's a cool one. Played in Ruby Storm, a deck I was testing earlier. And another squirrel looking thing. And a cool looking mountain. I think that was from Mirage. All right. Two packs. And we got an Overmaster, basically. Shmedium. Let's move on. Match five. Let's go. All right, everybody, match five of our modern league, Black Green Yawgmoth playing against Proggy Boog, Proogie Boog, something along those lines. Uh, we are on the draw and we cannot keep this seven. We are gonna mulligan. I feel like I've been saying that a lot today. This six is good. We're gonna keep this and I think, I think we ship the Young Wolf. No, I think we ship the Geist, just in case they have a Ragavan. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of the Geist. 
If they have something like a Ren and Six, that's going to be really bad. But if not, okay, they lead on Urborg into a Grief. It's been a while since I've seen this deck. I don't miss it. I don't. I don't. Proogie Boog. Scamming us on turn one. Doing us dirty. Undying Malice. This is exciting interactive magic here. All right. We have a four card hand now. All right, play out our marsh, play out our bird. Drew into an endurance, which not sure that that's gonna matter, but we'll see. I imagine our bird is probably getting bolted or terminated or a ragavan. Pretty good hand on their part. A little tough to beat this sort of a start. We do have two veils in our sideboard, so that's nice. We can take a hit for six and they got themselves a wall of roots. Congratulations. Ragavan back to hand there. Okay, so if I don't play out this next bird, I am kind of telegraphing an endurance, but I don't think I can really do anything else. So that's what we're gonna do. We shall telegraph. This telegraphing is what we do. I got my last pack of Dominaria remastered over here. Is it going to me? Is it going to you? We don't know. We don't know. Okay, and they're not they're not playing out the Ragavan, so they know something's up. They know we have trickery up our sleeves. Proogie Boog is on to us. They're gonna Night's Whisper, draw two cards. Play out a Pluted Delta, and I think we're gonna play out our Endurance here. They read us like a book. I'm gonna shuffle my creatures back into my library here. Moving on. All right, Grist is a good draw. Um, the only problem with Grist here is that if I minus Grist and they have another Undying spell, the Grief just comes right back. So I think, uh, I think I'm gonna plus the Grist. I don't like having to plus it here, but I think I kind of have to. It's just like, it's a very fragile situation, right? So if they have a removal spell for one of my creatures, Grist is dead. If they have a, there's just so many things they could have that can interact with what I'm doing right now. All right, play out a land. Thinking about attacking, they don't attack, okay. Play out their Ragavan. So to me that says they probably don't have an Undying spell. So I think they probably attack if they do. All right, we drew a land. If they have something like Fury, that would be very bad for us. Uptick our Insect. I'm gonna play out my Ignoble as well. Yeah, we're just gonna put everything into play. If they have a Fury, it's late here. I'm kinda, I'm, no, I don't wanna concede. Am I Am I shipping it in? I don't know, but I don't know what we can do if they have a Fury, I think we just lose. But I think also if they had a Fury, they probably would've cast it last turn. One, two, three. This feels like a Pyromancer, it is. So the way we get out of this game is a Court of Calling or a top decked Yawgmoth and them not having a Fury. They're thinking though, which makes me nervous. Land, untapped, attack with grief. Huh, we double block grief here. I think I just let this happen. If they have a bolt, they have a bolt. Let's see if they can kill my grist from here. It's weird that they played out the crypt untapped. I wonder if it was like a terminate, like if they anticipated me blocking with the endurance. They return Ragavan and they kill my grist, sure. Not a Yawgmoth. Okay, um, yeah, from here, I think we play this out and pass the turn. So we know they have a Ragavan and then they have one other card, which we do not know. And this turn, if they do attack with the Gris, the Grief, I think we do block it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a Fury and I'm just, I'm scooping it. We're not beating that. All right, no Yawgmoth anytime soon. Game two. Uh, we're bringing in our Endurances, we are bringing in our Ooze, bringing in our Veil vale of Summer, and bringing in our Thought Seizes. We're shaving all our Evos, most of our Chords, and a few Birds. And submit. Alright. Pack on the line. Okay, we're on the play. Scam. Down a game. Uh, this is... It's a bit of a tell, but this is an acceptable opening seven. We're gonna keep this. If they play like a turn one Ragavan, that's really bad for us. We will shock. <laughs> I wonder what we have here. I wonder what we're telegraphing. 
Also a reasonable play if you don't have a Veil of Summer, just to uh, to make them think about it. Bloodstained Mire, Grief, they still go for it. Wow, aggressive. All right, we'll Veil that. Okay, still go for the Feign Death. We're gonna draw a card. And I think I'm gonna Endurance this away. Like, do I care about that? I think I do. Endurance, get rid of the cord. It's kind of like the equivalent of like a, a Solitude. We basically just kill their creature. Two for one ourselves, but kill their creature. All right, third land, not bad. Play out our Wall of Roots and uh, pass the turn from here. And the next turn we have our Yawgmoth or we have an Endurance. As long as Wall of Roots doesn't die. Mountain, terminate. Wall of Roots, dead. All right, our turn three. Another Endurance, okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. Get a little pressure on them here. I don't hate it. A little pressure and we can still leave up an Endurance, so. Best case scenario is like they dash a Ragavan here. Worst case is they play a Blood Moon. Okay, it's also pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle their Graveyard here. And the reason I'm shuffling is because they have Culligan's Command, so I don't want to give them the opportunity to get that Grief back. All right, second Yawgmoth, not great. I think I'm gonna attack here, pass the turn. They're at 14 life, they have three cards in hand. Four, play out a Grief here. I am going to uh, cast my other Endurance now. I think that's their third Grief this game. I guess it's our third Endurance, technically. And uh, I don't think we're gonna shuffle these, I think. I think we're okay just leaving those there, just in case we draw Scavenging Ooze. So you can have a Yawgmoth or a Yawgmoth. What would you like? They take a Yawgmoth. Interesting. They have one card in hand. And we drew a Thoughtseize. So if this is like a Fury, this is a good draw. If this is like a land, kind of weak. All right, Pyromancer, we'll take that. That was good. And we will, uh, I think, pass the turn from here. I don't think I want to give them a two for one here. So yeah, I think we're just going to pass. One, okay. Thoughtseize for a Thoughtseize. I get my Yogg. Okay, bird, not, not really what we're looking for, but it's something, I guess. Pass the turn. Thought about tapping a mana there. Wonder if they drew into like a, a fatal push or something. Considering attacks, they don't. I'm gonna draw a card here and a turn. Okay, another land. It's fine. Play out our marsh, play out our young wolf, and pass the turn. This is kind of just like the point in the game where whoever's deck is nicer to them off the top. Four mana. Grief number four, sure. So we have two Yogg left in the deck, two Court of Calling. But Seiju does absolutely nothing. Insulates us against a uh, a Blood Moon, I suppose. Thoughtseize. You are welcome to Thoughtseize me. Okay, Dash of Ragavan. This is an interesting move. They have zero cards. Are they just like... Is this their way of conceding? I'm really confused why they're attacking right now. That was really strange. Okay. If you want to just kill your Ragavan, be my guest. Play out our land and pass the turn. That's going to get us a basic, just a have something for Blood Moon just in case. In addition to the Besaju, I definitely don't want to give them a fifth land if I can help it. I'm still really baffled by that uh, that Ragavan play they just made. All right, they're attacking with both griefs. I think we'll double block one and see what they have from here. Terminate, sure. That doesn't change damage at all, so you still lose your grief. Very inefficient use of their mana here or their, their resources, I feel like. Um, I'll play out another Verdant and I'll pass the turn. I mean, they have a lot of really good draws from this point. They could draw like a Dothy, which would really put me on a clock. Okay, and they don't, they just draw a, lot, a land. I'm gonna fetch here. And we're just gonna get a basic. Just thinning a little bit. We are flooding out hard here. I think this time I'm gonna keep that in my hand, just make them think about it a little bit. Of course, we need to dodge a Fury, as always, against this deck. Okay, they're attacking with both of their creatures. Um, I think I'm going to get my Dryad Arbor here. 
and it feels to me like they have an like an undying malice or one of those sorts of things. So maybe I go here, here, here. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected there. I'd rather them do that than get the the pyromancer back. And weird how they they did that with their blocks. They targeted my endurance first as opposed to my my young wolf. Ah, my opponent making some very strange plays, as do scam players often do. Maybe I'm supposed to attack there with the endurance. All right, another land. They fetch for no reason. Okay, and they attack. We're gonna cast, I think this is our fourth endurance here. Okay, they'll make some, some guys there, sure. Uh, I'm gonna shuffle my graveyard here. Get some of these cards back in there. Okay, and we will double block here. And block here like this. Yes, I think we're okay with that. So we'll kill one of my endurances, we'll get rid of the grief. They will get more tokens, but now I think we're ahead on board. Especially if we can draw something, but we get another land. So many lands. I'll yield through the turn. I think, I want to say that's like four or five lands in a row at this point. Maybe I'm, I, I'm probably supposed to attack there with the endurance. That was probably a mistake. All right, they're pulling a lot of lands too, though. They fetch again. They're going to have five tokens on their next turn. Another young wolf. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I would imagine they're going to draw a fury at some point. All right, bunch of one ones. We'll see if they attack. They don't. Moving to our next turn. I don't know how exciting this is to watch, but... Um, an ignoble. I wonder if I just keep that in hand. I'm just gonna play out the marsh. I'm gonna hold the ignoble. If they wanna do something like Thought Seize that, that's fine. I feel like I have so many good draws and we're just not seeing any of them. They have another land, sure. Okay, now we're in business. Now we're talking. All right, so I think I lead Hierarch attack with Hierarch attack with the young wolf. I guess I could just attack with the bird. Maybe I should have been doing that. Maybe that was the move all along. Okay, and next turn we are in a position to, to put a hurting on them. As long as we get a next turn. And this thing is out of fury range as well, which is really nice. One, two, okay, we get the win. Game three. Whew. It was a marathon. Um, I'm gonna keep all of this exactly as it was. We'll see how this goes. Game three against Scam. Game three, match five. Our opponent chooses to play first and they keep a seven card hand. I don't think we can mulligan this as much as I don't love it. It's just so bad mulliganing against their deck. So I think you just kinda, kinda have to take what you get a lot of instances, but it does not feel good, this hand. Very vulnerable to a Ragavan, very, you know, if they scam us, we don't really have anything going on. Thoughtseize, I'm okay with that one. That was like best case scenario. We haven't seen any, um, any Dothies as of yet. I wonder if we're gonna see one next turn. Thoughtseize, take my Yawgmoth, sure. I think here we're gonna lead I mean, we do have things we could hit with the Besaju, but I think I'm gonna play out the bird here. This is Operation Dodge of Fury. Okay, and now they grief us, so they drew that off the top, I would imagine. They discard a Thoughtseize. Get rid of our cord, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of our wall, I would imagine. And now with this hand, if they have a Fury, we just lose. There's just nothing we can do about it. So we'll see if See what they do. Another land. Play out our Hierarch, and we're gonna swing. Swing for one. They are on the clock. They do only have one land, though. They did miss... Oh, no. Yeah, they missed a land drop. They were they were on the play this game. So we'll see if this is good enough to get there. All right, there's their second land. Here comes a Ragavan. Now the floodgates have opened. All right, taking a hit for six. They hit a Grist off the top, which would have been really nice. And we draw another land. 
Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these draws. I was supposed to play out the catacombs. I didn't mean to play out the forest there. But yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to, supposed to do here. Just all my draws are lands. Ah, <sighs> it's frustrating. I'm gonna attack, like, I don't know if it's worth it sacrificing, like, blocking the Ragvan. Maybe I was supposed to play out the Dryad Arbor. I mean, once again, I misclicked. I didn't even mean to play out the forest, but... All right, that's their second land in a row that they drew. There's Ragavan again. Like, the fact Dryad Arbor is here, like, I can't even fetch it out. Which makes it so much worse as well. Yeah, we're just gonna take a hit for six. Like, the way we're winning this game is if we draw into a Yawgmoth, I think. I hope they play that. I hope they play that Young Wolf. They don't. All right, I'm gonna fetch. They have two cards in hand. Back up to three with the Ragavan back. Let's see what we draw. Okay, Endurance doesn't fix the problem per se, but at least it buys us a turn. Okay, they bolt there. Two cards in hand. This feels like a fury. Sure. Uh, I don't think there's really much we can do from this point. I guess we'll add some mana. Yep, we'll just let it happen. I mean, we need to draw into an ooze, I guess. Even an ooze, I don't think that's going to be good enough, but... Actually, it would be. It would at least buy us a turn, I think. No, it wouldn't. But regardless, we drew another land. I'm going to fetch, and I'm going to shock. As a sign of my displeasure with how many lands I drew over the course of that match. Alright, we went 2-3. and three, An abysmal 2-3. and three. You guys get another pack. Alright, everybody. So, it was... Not our day today. That was a very, very uh, discouraging league, if I had to put one word to it. Discouraging is how I would put it. I don't think there's inherently anything long, wrong with this list. I think I probably could have played the Yawgmoth matchup a little bit better. I think, you know, our hands probably weren't great that match either. I should have mulled game three of that matchup. Um, I don't remember what our second loss was and then the matchup against scam i mean there's that matchup sometimes you just can't can't really do anything about it you just kind of take what you can get and hope the top of your deck is kind to you which ours was not the most kind a lot of lands and uh you know it just just didn't line up so from that from that two and three record three packs that are going to three people who are subscribed to this channel and comment below uh, so I know who you are. I am going to give it a couple of days. So by the time my next video comes out, the following Monday, it'll be at 6.30 Pacific time, is when I'm gonna draw the winners and I will announce the winners in that next video. So you'll you'll find out if you won in that video. Um, additionally, if we hit a thousand subscribers, comment below and a foil playset of Yawgmoths of your choice from Dominaria Remastered could be yours as well. So high stakes on this one. I'm happy you guys are at least getting something from this because uh, I certainly I don't feel I don't feel great about myself after that one. So, but thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. I think we're gonna do this periodically where I have little little giveaways or little incentives to get everybody a little bit more involved. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one despite the fact that I was terrible. So see you guys next time. Be well. Until then.